What's up guys, thanks for checking out this guitar tutorial. In this lesson, we're gonna look at how to play the chain by Fleetwood Mac on the acoustic guitar. It's just the very first bit of the song. We're not gonna look at the solo section just yet. We're gonna go straight into the first bit. If you like this tutorial and it helps you out, please make sure that you subscribe and you like it as we go along. Also, please leave a comment if you have any questions about this lesson. Right, let's dive in and take a look. Right, let's have a look how we play this song. So we've got a capo on the second fret of the neck and we've actually dropped our E string to a D, so this is a drop D tuning. And you can use your D string, string number four, as a reference to make sure that that top D is actually in tune. Okay, so the first position you're gonna to need to know uh, is that your first finger is gonna go on the second string of the third fret. You have your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Those are the two positions you need to start off with. That's the first chord. A lot of the action is going on with the finger picking. So let's have a look at the, um, the right hand. Now that, that's a hammer on. I'm hammering on um, from the first finger to the third finger on the second string of the fifth fret. Let's have a look at that finger picking action now. So let's slow it down a little bit. The second time round, I'm letting the E string ring out and then I'm hammering on that third finger again. Let's slow it down a little bit more. Let's slow it down even more now. And then let's have a look at that little transition that breaks up the intro to the verse. So we've just got... You can do that with your third finger or you can do it with your second finger. I prefer to do it with my second finger. So all I'm doing, I've got my second finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. So I'm putting that on and then I'm taking it off to let that D string ring out. And I'm doing exactly the same, the same on string number five and string number six. You notice there's a slight bend. and I'm just plucking that with my thumb. Right, let's have a look at that all together. And then there's a bit of a pause, so there's a and rest. And then into the first verse. So we've got our first bit. Then we're going to move to our second shape and the way I'm going to play this is I'm going to put my third finger on the sixth string of the seventh fret, I'm going to put my pinky finger on the uh, seventh fret of the fifth string and I'm going to bar with my first finger across string one and two on the fifth fret. And I'm going to move that down two frets. and then back to my first position. So the plucking for that I'm going. So I'm going six, four, one and two. And exactly the same 
as I go down to that uh, that second chord. Let's try that again. One more time, slow it down. And then for the build up, we're going back to that position. Same position again. Now you can use your finger for this it might be hard going from uh, plucking to actually um, to picking up a plectrum unless you can sort of hide it around your little finger and then flick it over but I can't do that so I'm just gonna use my um, my think my finger to strum it so we hold on to that chord for eight beats Let's just go back to the strumming pattern for that chord there. So, so I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then I'm playing my D minor. All strings, all six strings together. And then I'm moving my first finger to the fifth string of the third fret, I'm taking off my second finger and just playing from string number five down and then I'm putting my, uh, my second finger on string number five of the fifth fret and what I'm doing with my pinky is I'm just flicking it on that first string of the fifth fret. Let's have a listen to that all together. phrase into the breakdown we have got a so we're moving so we're going back to that sort of D minor shape without our first finger on but we're moving our second finger sliding it up from the fourth fret to the fifth fret Notice I'm clipping that bam bam bam. So there you have it. That is the first bit of the chain. Uh, by Fleetwood Mac. I'm not going to go into the solo section just yet, um, that's just the acoustic guitar bit. The next tutorial I'm going to work on um, will show you how to play that breakdown into the solo section as well. So have a little play along with the track, I'm going to play it now and uh, if you can play along with me then brilliant. Here we go.